nobody requested the information. Okay, so then we're ready? You are yes. ready? Right, I will call this meeting of the Washera County Planning and Zoning Committee to order. This meeting will be conducted in the same manner as the application served by the Board of Adjustment. Please remember to keep your comments brief, no more than five minutes, and relative to the matter at hand. Anyone other than the applicant or their representative wishing to speak at this hearing must have registered. Anyone who has not should do so immediately and submit the registration slip to our Zoning Administrator, Todd. The committee has looked at all the properties and record will reflect these observations. Following the public hearing, the committee will conduct their monthly business meeting in which time we will vote on the applications. You may stay and hear how the applications are decided or you may leave following the public hearing. Any person affected by an administrative decision of this committee has 10 days from the filing of tonight's decision to file an appeal. Such appeals are heard by the Washera County Board of Adjustments. Information and applications are available from the county zoning office. The county assumes no liability and makes no warranty as to the legality of any construction commenced prior to the expiration of this 10-day period. I will now introduce the committee. To my left is Mike Cap. Immediately behind him is Patrick King. Behind myself is Jerry Lauer. I am Robert Wadel, the Zoning Planning and Zoning Committee Chairman, and Todd Waller, our Zoning Administrator, is to my right hand side. First of all, we will start the agenda, call the meeting to order. And the first one we will hear is James Gustafson, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, has made application for conditional use in accordance with sections 58-236, paragraph 17, and 58-454, Parentheses 27 of the Washera County Zoning Code to story 2019 Forest River 30 foot travel trailer in the AG, the AG General AG Zone. Location an approximate 14.75 acre parcel of land being part of the south half of the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter, section 21, town 18 north, range 9 east, town of Richford, County B. The applicant is already up to the microphone, so if you want to tell us what you're up to, Jim. Certainly. Uh, thank you for entertaining my application. Uh, Maybe move the microphone up just a tad. There we go. Taller than I'm. <laughs> That's last okay. Guy. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for entertaining my application. Uh, purchased some property last September and purchased a travel trailer just recently. Uh, I wanted to thank Cynthia for educating me on the casual use permit process. She's very helpful for that. Uh, basically, I would like to uh, place the or park the camper on my property, use it infrequently uh, when we're not camping other places. Uh, we had a visit yesterday. I believe we can tuck it into the, the wooded area so it won't be visible either from the road and we also discussed putting up some, some barriers so the neighboring property, um, even though their house is a mile away, we can still, you know, not see it when they're going through their field. So I intend to do that, uh, made some other arrangements, perhaps m I might even fence the entire area there, the fence line, because um, I've got access to some fencing there. So, uh, you know, I want to be respectful to the neighbors and, and do this well. Uh, I don't intend to keep the trailer there uh, through the winter. Uh, I've got other places to store it. So just off and on through the summer and, and you know, the, the week of hunting season, I'll probably be out there. Okay. A uh, few questions for you. Uh, yep. Are you, uh, there was some discrepancy, I guess. You said you thought it was in one spot. The other landowners had the fence post. Are you sure where the property lines are exactly or will you be we never had the property surveyed okay so it's your word against theirs right well, now or I I am where they established the property line I'm I'm using that to measure and I'm 100 foot off that so they established what they thought was the property line, and I didn't dispute and that. you're going to go along with that I'm fine with that. okay yeah uh and you did per our conversation and looking at it, you did agree to uh 
putting up some like a privacy fence yeah and then um, some natural vegetation if that doesn't work later on oh I'm gonna plant more vegetation as well but that's okay. gonna take some time right so okay uh, I, I'm planning you know in the short term put the thing out there to uh, six by eight uh, basically a gate so you're gonna be able to back it in okay. close the gate we should be okay. and then I may fence that fence line with with again with a privacy fence coming in any further questions from the committee, Pat or Mike? No, I, I noted that I saw that you had the um, porta potty, and that's what you intend to use when you're yes. using the trailer. Correct? Yeah, I purchased that uh, here in town, and that was one of the requirements. So we're, you know, so we're going to keep that keep that up and have it serviced by uh, the local guy here. So. Okay. Uh, any correspondence? Uh, we have no correspondence. We all did get a letter from Mr. Fenske, mm -hmm. just for your interest, I guess. He was, I guess, opposed to it, but uh, I talked to him personally, and I assured him we would try to enforce the, the barrier, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that'll appease him, I hope. I don't know, but uh, as long as you're doing the rest of the stuff, I think you're, you're going to be okay. Okay. Sounds so, great. Uh, staff comments? Okay. You can have a seat, Jim. Oh, thank you. As stated in the report you have before you, the applicants, James and Angela Gustafson, are requesting a conditional use to store a 2019 Forest River, Inc. 30-foot travel trailer in an AG general agricultural zone in the town of Richford. In terms of project history, the county maintains very little information on the subject property. The property is comprised primarily of an expansive series of wetlands, small ponds, and streams with only a high dry land situated along the northern most and easterly most ends of the lot. The only activity was a land use permit that was pulled in 2002 for a 22 foot by 50 foot pole building for personal storage. However, that project never commenced and therefore the land still remains vacant. Committee vi visited the property at the recent onsite on Wednesday, June 17th, 2020, and generally believed the property to be an appropriate location for the proposed use. They did, however, raise some concern over the proposed location and overall visibility of the trailer. They recommended the applicant move the trailer into the adjacent woods and erect a small section of fencing so as to, fully, to be fully screened from view. Few of the members also wanted to see the, trim, the trees excuse me, at both sides of the entrance drive trimmed to improve safety for vehicles leaving the property and to improve accessibility to the property for emergency equipment and vehicles. Staff has reviewed this request and finds the proposed location for a storage trailer ideal as if properly situated. It will be completely hidden from view and should in no way detrimentally impact surrounding properties. While the committee will be making a recommendation on this request later in the evening, staff is recommending approval of the conditional use as noted in staff's report subject to the reasons and conditions listed below. All right. Do you have any rebuttal, Jim? Nothing. Okay, now we go on to the next one. Yep. Okay, the next one we'll hear tonight will be Joseph Metzen. Manitowoc, Wisconsin has made application for a conditional use in accordance with sections 58-236 paragraph 17 and 58-454 paragraph 27 of the Washera County Zoning Code to store a 2015 Gray Wolf 26 foot travel trailer in the AG General Ag zone within the shoreline area. Location. An approximate 10 acre parcel of land being part of the southwest, southwest, excluding the right of way, section 16, town 19 north, range 11 east, town of Mount Morris, Lake Morris, N3751 Primrose Lane. And you're Joseph, I take I it? Am. All right, would you like to tell us brief? Sure. What do you want? We to purchased do uh, the property in November of 2018 with the intent of putting what will be eventually be our retirement home on the property. We contracted with Jenks Well Service in the spring of 2019 to have a brand new well put on the property with COVID-19 happening and uh, derailing some of our plans for uh, pursuing building, at least in this current calendar year, uh, we're seeking uh, the opportunity to have the camper there uh, for this summer. Uh, and potentially next summer, uh, so that we can still utilize the property uh, until we can put a permanent residence there, which will ultimately be our retirement home. Okay. Uh, just a couple quick questions like we did for the previous gentleman. Are you sure of the property lines? We're sure, yeah. OK. 
Okay. Uh, I had uh, the title company from Washera or from Otoma come in and recite everything this spring. Okay, and we didn't ask the previous gentleman, but have you talked to the town board about their thoughts on this? I have not. No, you have not. Probably be a good idea to just attend a meeting and tell them what you're up to. But uh, I have visited with my neighbors, though. Okay. Okay. No objections from the neighbors. All right. Uh, any questions from the board or comments? And I did bring additional photos of what the property looks like from the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we we saw it, we were out there, and uh, it seemed to be r relatively concealed where you're going to park the trailer, if it's where those stakes were mm -hmm. up yep. behind the garage there. Yep. Nice and location. And we're working with the downtown uh, rental center for a porta potty to be on site. Okay. I do have just one question. Right now, the property is six and a half acres, and you know that the county minimum is 10 acres now there was you had say, stated in your you know information you submitted is that there was a deed that's in the process for acquisition of some additional land to get you to 10 acres sure we closed on that on friday of last week with uh, okay. evans title company in wapaka okay uh so uh they should be providing a digital copy of that uh to washer county uh, okay. so that that's documented but the process has been taken care of obviously everything was delayed with uh our stay-at-home order and having somebody come out and do a survey and things like okay. that so that cool. that was completed last week okay all right uh, staff comments all right the applicant joseph metzen is requesting a conditional use to store a 2015 gray wolf 26 foot travel trailer in an ag general agricultural five acre minimum zone within the shoreland area in the town of mount morris similar to the last request the county maintains very little information on the property um, it's a heavily wooded lot located west of Primrose Lane and west of Mount Morris Lake. We did issue a land use permit in 1998 for a 28 by 28 detached garage, which is located at the northeast corner of the lot nearest to Primrose Lane. Um, and as I just asked the applicant about the acreage, hopefully that'll be resolved here very, very quickly. Um, the committee visited the property at the recent onsite on Wednesday, June 17th, 2020 and generally believed the property to be an appropriate location for the proposed use. They felt the trailer would be ideal, ideally located as it, is, as it is screened from view from all adjacent properties. Few of the members, however, did raise concern over the vegetation hanging over the access drive and wanted to just see a few of the trees at both sides of the entrance drive trimmed to improve maneuverability and accessibility for emergency equipment and vehicles. Staff has reviewed this request and finds a proposed location for a storage of a travel trailer, excuse me, ideal as if properly situated, will be completely hidden from view and should in no way detrimentally impact surrounding properties. While the committee will be making a recommendation on this request later in the evening, staff is recommending approval of the conditional use to store a travel trailer as noted subject to the reasons and conditions listed below. Okay. Did you have any, anything further to add? That we just like to recommend that the same with the previous gentleman in case you need the ambulance to get in there or fire truck. Uh, they don't like scratching those $250,000 vehicles up just for that. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Just trim a few branches. Don't have to cut the whole tree, but just. Okay, the third application we will hear tonight is uh, Lawrence Golke, Nashkor, Wisconsin, has made application for zone change in accordance with sections 58 dash 131 through 138, 58 dash 571 and 58 dash 631 of the Washera County Zoning Code from RMP, Residential Multifamily Plan Development to RM, Residential Multiple Family for a Partially Developed Multifamily Housing Unit. Location, parcels of land known as CSM 6414, lot one, two, three, and outlot one, section six, town 18 north, range 11 east, town of Marion and section one, town 18 north, range 10 east, town of Dakota, N2389, N2385, N2381, N2377, N2373, N2369, and N2370 Fairway View Court. I know you're not Mr. Golke, but you are the representative. I am not Mr. Golke. <laughs> <laughs> Too short. Um, I am actually um, one of the 
uh, condo owners um, <laughs> in the development, and then also uh, the president of the current association there. So uh, Mr. Golke was the original declarant um, when the condominium uh, was created back in 2006. It was created as an expansion condo. Those expansion rights um, expire after 10 years. Um, since um, then, a, uh, I'm trying to think, in 2015, there was a transaction that um, occurred, um, a sale of the house, and at that time, some documents were recorded that they were going to do A, B, and C, and they never did the follow through of that. So ultimately, um, this started because I wanted to clean up the mapping issues that are up there, and as part of the um, package deal, um, it was recommended that we get the zoning changed prior to doing that, so that's, that's where we're, we're at. at. Yeah. And Mr. Golke is in agreement with this? Yes. I yeah. take it because he's not here. So. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> technically the applicant. Um, yeah, so I'm here representing him. And okay, uh, <laughs> we were out there and uh, I guess, uh, can we state what our opinions are, shouldn't we? Well, I can, yeah, I can kind of go through kind of a little well, bit of the on-site comments. I mean, we, sure, we thought it was good, can. but if it would have been us, we would have, we'd buy that so that they don't develop it any further. <laughs> oh, I can't that say comment. that. I'm sorry, my bad. Oh, no. okay. But I mean, well, all you have to do, all you have to do is deny the next. Um, oh, yeah. Well, we just thought you've got a beautiful place up there, houses. <laughs> And it'd be a real shame if somebody was allowed to put some more down below there and block your view when you're. But well, and they, and they can't. I mean, there's, there's the condominium piece of it is attached to this whole thing, but so oh. that's an issue. Okay. I, be, I mean, and I'm not up on my zoning rezoning stuff, but I believe they could still put single family houses mm. requested. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah. all right. Uh, anything else to add, Heather? Any questions from the committee that was out there? Uh, staff reports. Okay. Um, the applicant, Larry Golke, is requesting a zone change from RMP, which is Residential Multifamily Plan Development, um, to RM, Residential Multifamily, uh, for a partially developed multiple family housing development known as Lakeview Fairway Condominiums and the adjacent vacant land located on either side of Fairway View Court located in the town of Dakota and the town of Marion. Um, on July 20th, 2000, or July 20th of 2000, the applicant received approval to rezone an approximate eight and a half acre parcel of that land situated north of the intersection of State Roads 21 and 73. And at that time, it was to be developed for a 44-unit multiple-family residential development. The original plans called for construction of a combination of single-family homes, multiple-family units of two four-unit two, four buildings, four eight-unit condominium buildings, and one two-unit building. Throughout the years, the plans kind of changed. They introduced a number of different concepts. Um, however, nothing really got off the ground. At present, the planned unit development has only partially been built out with the construction of one six-unit building and one single-family residence, both of which, as you saw, are located at the top of the hill at the terminus of the private roadway known as Fair Fairway View Court. Um, staff has worked and, and met with the owners of the property on numerous occasions to look at what can be done on the balance of the property, as it has now sat vacant for nearly two decades. Um, it was more or less at staff's recommendation to give them a little bit greater flexibility um, since the development's not gonna be um, developed as a uniform uh, condominium development. It was thought that let's open up some flexibility for the, the entire development, go to RM that would allow for single family homes, also allow for some multiple family homes um, and allow for greater marketability of that property. Um, keep in mind that even that rezoning would still be consistent with the town's comprehensive plan. Um, as you, you know, we did visit the property at a recent onsite on Wednesday, June 17th. Um, there was no concern raised over the proposed zone change. Uh, felt that the zone change would, would be consistent with town comprehensive plan and more or less made sense with what's going on. Um, staff has reviewed this request. We've worked with the applicant over the past few years in attempts to develop that property in accordance with approved drawings and within the original confines of the condominium develop, development. <clears throat> excuse me. However, given changes in demand, marketing, and overall economy, 
A change to a more flexible underlying residential zoning is probably needed. While the committee will be making a recommendation on this request later in the evening, staff is recommending approval of the zone change from RMP to RM for the partially developed multiple family housing development and adjacent vacant land located on either side of Fairway View Court subject to the conditions and reasons listed in the staff report. All right, thanks, Todd. Mm -hmm. Here, so I don't get confused. Okay, uh, roll call vote will show all are present except 